character today I was posing as was a sexy Scott, and he was going to perform a transformation into a Jaguar, I believe. You just kind of go with that and see where it takes you, but my motivation towards it is just trying to get as much of the character as you can. I kind of develop a character in my own mind, I feel like how the readers do, and I, um, I think I'm gonna just wing it that way. Well, Richard, the photographer, does a great job getting you in the role. Yes, good, very proper. Um, I do read about the characters, and uh, they get themselves in some pretty interesting situations, but they're lighthearted and fun and sexy all at the same time. Definitely want to make yourself that person or uh, character and, and play with it. It's fun. I think what's most interesting is that we shoot it in real life and then the animation and you know make it look much more romantic than it is when we shoot it um, is pretty cool. Yeah, it's always fun to see yourself um, you know, on book covers, magazine covers. <laughs> it's kind of funny if you actually do buy something and the, yeah. the clerk's like, is that you? Well, I really like uh, working with the models. There's such a vast variety of personalities that you have to direct. Everyone is different. Today we shot a human turning into a jaguar. Not actually turning, but we have to portray the concept to the readers. Uh, today I, I sourced um, some things uh, out of state and then also I sourced a lot of things from different costume places in Chicago as well as vintage inspired dresses that are actually new. My favorite part of today's photo shoot was all the, the fabulous hat, hats from Jenny from Form Millinery. I actually started out in the costume industry a number of years ago and uh, eventually I came across a milliner. Didn't realize you could actually have a career as a milliner making wonderful hats and it had always been more of a love for me and so I decided to completely change my career and do hats full time. The hair and makeup for romance shoots are different in the fact that it has a historical edge to it. Mm -hmm. So we try to make it as beautiful as possible but keep with the historical direction. I think makeup and hair should enhance the talent's beauty, but we're not selling hair and makeup, so it all should be harmonious. I love the imagination that goes into the stories, and, and you can have, you know, you can have a shapeshifter who's also a Scottish Highland Laird. The authors really have an opportunity to bring a lot of imagination to a, just a beautiful love story. Every romance is a love story, and because they all have a happy ending, they just leave you feeling great. So I have a set of editorial criteria that I use for every single book that we publish. You will find these qualities. Number one, a heroine that the reader can relate to. Number two, a hero she can fall in love with. Number three, a world gets created that the reader can escape into. Number four, there's a hook that I can sell it with in just two or three sentences so I can get the idea and the concept of the book across very, very quickly. I'm looking for authors who have a career arc. They want to build a career with source books.